here is an example of how we can uh, make copies uh, or relays of a an object so that we can have many of them. Here we have a, a sound absorbent that we have put on the wall. And we're going to select that. And we're going to say we're going to move it. And uh, press control. So we're making a copy of it. We're going to move it on that green axis and we're going to put it right next door to it. Let that finger go. And we're going to write X five enter and now we have a whole lot of copies of them. Now we're going to do the same thing down as well. So we're going to put finger on control so we select all of these together and we say it again that we're going to move them. We can select anywhere on this, start to move, press control. Uh, we just make sure that we're moving that on the blue axis so that we get a blue dotted line, sometimes it can be, and we move that just up and under there, we let go, and we times two. And then we have a wall of sound absorbance. Sometimes when we're placing the component, it's, it's very important where you grab the component. And uh, if I give you a, a small example, I can grab it here. But uh, when I go to, to the wall, I'm not I'm not quite sure where I have to put it and I can kind of guess a little bit and easily end up going through the wall. What I recommend is that you take the point that is closest to the wall as a moving point and we can move that and it will tell us when we get to the wall. There we are. It's told us now that we're against the wall. So we click that and then we have it placed perfectly against the wall. So if we want to um, line up these discs together and um, we'd like to leave a 50 mil gap between them, we can use a guideline. We can do this by actually using the tape measure tool and we can zoom in here a bit and we're going to choose the end point there and we're going to choose the end point there and what we get now is a guideline. If we select that guideline, which is now selected, we can move it. We're going to grab it and we're going to move it and we're going to type in 50 mil and enter. So now we've moved that guideline over. So, you can see that it's 50 mil out from the edge of that desk. So now we want to get that other desk and move that over. So, we're going to grab that point there with the move tool. We're going to select that desk. Then we're going to move that point over Do we get right on that line there. Now we need, yep, so. Then we need to use the rotate and we're going to use this point here, this point here, and then we're going to bring it over to that guide. And it should just be as simple as that. And there you have so we can take that guideline away now, but you can see that our tables are lined up together with a 50 mil gap.